right, man, it's no secret that Jared Goff is balling for the Detroit Lions. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. What's, what's really hurting Goff and what's hurting the Lions offense is the threat of a vertical threat. That's what's hurting them. Plays down the field. You know, Ben Johnson only can do so much to dress it up from the flea flickers to, you know, um, you know, just trying to create ways to get those explosive plays down the field. And, um, you know, like I said before, it's always like with, with Brad Holmes, he always like depending on, um, he always like to depend on just like how he depended on Tyrell Williams. And then he tried to rush and get Trinity Benson his first year here. How he tried to depend on Ana Zorky, you know, the rookie year. And then, you know, he knew it might be a chance he might miss some time. Then he drafted Pascal, who was injured and really didn't have a, a true, you know, first or second option at defensive tackle for his first two years here. It's kind of the same thing. You know, I felt that, and maybe he did, but I felt like he should have went out there and, and signed another receiver. And we all knew it. Even with J-Mo, everybody knew they needed another receiver. Now, at this point, we probably would say, well, Hopkins ain't the guy that you're looking for. Um, and people say, well, why? You know, he more of a possession receiver at this point in his career. You know what I'm saying? And um, he can get vertical and win 50-50 balls, but they need somebody that can take the top off off defense, you know, um, just in case Jameson Williams don't work out. And what you got to understand, too, with people hoping that Jameson come back, okay, he come back 100% ready. He's virtually a, a rookie that has no chemistry with Jared Goff. So your, your, your master plan is to put a guy, Jameson Williams, out there who has no chemistry in, with golf, who we didn't know had drop problems until, you know, he came to the Detroit Lions. You know what I'm saying? So you hoping they could build chemistry in the middle of the season, you know, missed the end of training camp. They had all offseason to work together, and the chemistry still seemed not to be hidden. Now, golf has had speedy guys before, like Brandon Cooks, where he had had success with. Now, is it Jameson Williams just, you know, it's just something kinetic or something between them that just ain't going to work? Obviously, he endorsed Lamar Jackson, blah, blah, blah. But, um, they, you know, if they banking on, on Jameson Williams fixing their problems vertically, he, he should have jumped on that Mike Williams deal. You put a play together for Mike Williams, you roll the dice, and if you, you know, you lose a third and a fourth or a third and a fifth, fuck it. At some point, you got to go all gas and no brakes. They need to get better vertically in a hurry. And Josh Reynolds has been a godsend. And he out with a groin. He injured with a groin injury. So, like I said before, when, they, when I say they need another receiver, can't depend on Cleve Raymond, and you can't physically depend on Josh Reynolds. I said all these things coming in. And golf is playing very, very well, really great. Like, what, fourth in the league and pro football focus? He's playing really, really well. But once again, defenses are getting more tape. How are you going to manufacture play, big explosive plays? They don't necessarily have to be vertical threats. You know, but they need to, they need to keep people honest vertically or people going to start coming, especially without Dave Montgomery now, people going to start stacking the back box and say, well, beat us deep. Pause. That's what they're gonna start saying. So that's 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 going to that's going to be a real life issue for the Detroit Lions. And I just don't I just don't believe Jamison Williams is the end all be all answer for that. Because of his lack of connection, his lack of camaraderie with Jared Goff. So you're going to start seeing people play the Lions a lot differently without Montgomery, without a deep threat. So it's going to be interesting. But golf is balling. He's truly balling. He on point. That interception really wasn't his fault. Dude got, Matt, what's the dude's name? The former tight end. They usually play tackle when they put him at guard. Got blue in his lap. And I'm trying to think, why wasn't Graham Glasgow out there playing guard? Because he's starting Sunday. So not sure. Not sure at all. But that's that's something that's going to creep up on. Uh, that's going to start to be a problem as they get more tape on the Lions. It's going to be a problem. 
St. Brown. Well, I, well, I swear to God, I predicted this to the T. Like, it's not hard to tell. When you thin at a position, all it takes is one injury to break it. So you had the suspension with Jameson Williams. Even with Jameson Williams, we know we needed another receiver like a, uh, in general. Then what happened? St. Brown get injured with a toe injury. Probably turf toe or some stuff like that. Then what happened? Josh Reynolds get injured, which you know he can't stay healthy. And right now, St. Brown ain't been healthy for two seasons now. So, I mean, who you... And for Brad Holmes to sit there and not address that? Come on. And then, in my humble opinion... Jameer Gibbs has not been enough of a factor in the passing game to draft him that high. He's not been a factor at all, for real. In the ways they looking to use him, I don't know if he ain't ready or they ain't ready. I don't. I, I, it, it just ain't justified to pick it. They second round picks are way more impactful than their first round picks. You know, in the top two rated pro football focused rookies from last week, guess who they were? Jalen Carter and B. John Robinson. But, you know, it looked like they could be wasting a, a really great season from Jared Goff. But when Jameson get back, you know, bare minimum, they're going to have to they're going to have to respect his speed. You know, and you don't want to put too much on his plate, but you want to see him. You want to see him attack the field the entire field short you know you know short routes sticks you know uh, whips you know you want to see them the wheel the nines the posts the post corners the skinny posts the comeback the slants you want to see him uh, you know you want to see him attack the entire field bro but what might be your best in their best interest is to keep him as a vertical threat Him and Josh Reynolds on the outside, vertically pushing and letting. But I just feel like they need that one more piece on the outside. But you know, you know, could be wasting a really good season from golf. He been on point. You on point, tip all the time, five. You on point, five all the time, tip. But hey, um, yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think, man, about it. But thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video uh, financially. You want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate y'all for, for supporting the channel. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.